Today I teach you how to make a very quick and simple balloon shark. For this design, you're going to need three balloons, two 260s, and a 160. The white 260 doesn't matter how much air there is in it really because you're going to be breaking off the excess. The gray balloon, um, in this case I'm making a, um, a great white shark, so it's, you know gray on top, white underside. But the amount of air you put in is important and it's not very much, like a little over two fingers because you're actually going to end with this full, the air is going to be pushed all the way to the end and it's going to be his nose. And for the fins and the, uh, door, the all the fins, yeah the flippers and the fins, um, you were going to use a 160 and it should be the same color but I don't have any gray so I'm using the silver one so it looks a little different. First you decide how long you want the body of the shark to be, bearing in mind that you're going to, uh, you don't want its nose to be sticking this far out in front, this is the front of the head uh, of the shark, right? So um, decide how long you want it to be and then you got to put in some flippers making sure you have enough excess for the nose right here. Okay. So. Sometimes it takes some playing around, but you can usually do some quick things to get a rough idea as to how much, you know, what size that you're, you're going to need. So somewhere about this big, keep it soft as you go. It's okay to make one fin longer than the other, by the way, if you need the, you know, for the excess space, um, because some, some sharks have that one fin longer than the other. Take the white one, tie it in here to the tail, bring it on back down to this end. Okay, so now you got that. Now for this design, I like to use, um, I like to give them eyes, but you also need a bubble, a stabilization bubble down here. Okay, it kind of, it makes like a little mouth type thing. So I make it the same size as this one. And make a bubble and pinch twist it. Take this one here and tie it in. So I miscalculated a bit, made the white one a bit longer. And this is gonna come in here and make the face, but first I'm gonna make the eyes of the shark. And the eyes are just uh, either two round bubbles or two pinch twists, depending on what you, uh, what, what kind of look you're going for, right? A lot of times I just did two round ones like that. and then, <clears throat> then bring this one here along <clears throat> and it's just going to um, fold through, give it a, a twist, fold it through and that's going to be the face of the shark as soon as we get rid of this because this is what's messing everything up right now. So you don't need that. Now you just like on the orca whale I did, you could bring it back and do a body. I, I probably should have done that just now, it would fill it out a little better but a lot of times I just did this. Then I didn't have to worry about the size of the um, of the white one, right? So there's the face of the shark, right? And and this here bubble here gives it like an upward tit, uh, tilt to the snout, right? Which makes him a little more happy like. Although you can put angry eyes on if you want. And the, unlike the whale, the shark is a fish, so its fins go uh, rear flippers go like this. And now we're gonna attach. The other flippers. So again, your 160, it should not be filled all the way. You can if you want, there's no harm in that, but just, you know, leaving a bit of a tail is fine. Tie it off. And then exactly like in the whale video, you want to split it in half. That's where you twist it. And then take another one and split it in half. And just like on the whale, if you put some splits into these fins, it looks so much better. Now you take your fins. I probably should have put a little more care into making these ones. This particular balloon is so crooked it looks terrible. Um, and really, when you use the same color, okay, right now it looks pretty bad, but when you use the same color body with the fins, it looks a whole lot better. And you can see that if I had put another white one down along here, um, it, it would make it um, a little tighter so this wouldn't be moving so much. So 
that's a little tip right there to maybe just make the body out of two balloons. Then to finish it off, you just draw your eyes on your shark. Make them however you want, just like that. And give them a smile. You know what? That looks pretty bad for the video. I'm gonna fill this in with another one. And I will show you what I also used to do for kids um, when I'd give them something that needed to be moved around. Okay, so if you were gonna do this in real life um, and you wanted to have this here, you wanna, uh, don't break it off obviously, you'd wanna just attach it and bring it back over to here. So I'm just gonna see roughly how much length I need. And about like that, tie it off. Okay, that's a little bit better. Uh, most kids would absolutely love that when they, if they asked for a shark. Now, what I often did for things that flew or swam or needed a leash um, was I would attach a clear balloon to it, give me a use for the clear ones, and they could fly them around or swim them around or do whatever they want with it. Some balloons where they're tight enough, you can just put it right in here and you could attach it to, um, you could tie it to those fins in there. That's a pretty balanced place to put it. Um, or you could tie it right to the back. It, it, I often did that, but it didn't seem to work as good. Um, the best would be if you could put it through something there. Well, I'll tie it here for right now. Kind of messes up with the tail look, but again, most pe people don't care. The parents are happy that the kids are happy and the kids are excited that they got a balloon. So uh, there you go. Obviously this design will also work for a dolphin. You just have to uh, change the colors, you know, make this, uh, you know, a, a darker blue and down here a lighter blue or even all the same color blue. But uh, yeah, you could definitely make a dolphin with this design. If you made the body not so long, it would be a little tighter. Kind of like how the orca was a little shorter. Um, this here fins would fit in tighter. So if we, if there was a way to make this longer, you might have to make these here longer uh, so that the snout is, just right, um, or do a different face. Um, a hammerhead shark, that would be pretty cool one to make. I'd probably start with the face if I was doing that one and work my way backwards. Maybe I'll make a video on that. Okay, talk to you next time.